Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. Uh, so, I saw a film, uh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to start, so. Um, so, Love Again, uh, which is a rom-com you know, your, you know, typical romance sort of thing. Um, I forget the name of the chick who's in it, but, um, deals with a girl who is, uh, you know, wrestling with the loss of a husband. Uh, she may or may not be filthy rich. Um, and, um, because she apparently has a house that she can just grieve in that her mom and dad give her and, she got decides to head off to New York to hang out with her cousin or sister, not sure who it is, um, to just get back in the dating scene. And uh, there's a guy who's dealing with a breakup, someone who left the wedding, and then all that. And he has a phone that he gets from work. It's a work phone. And the work phone apparently was not wiped beforehand. Not sure why. Conveniences, probably before reselling it, and because of that, uh, she decides as a form of therapy to start writing uh, journals, entries, and the guy starts to read all of them and is infatuated by her somehow, some way. Celine Dion is introduced into the film and uh, apparently is never wrong. She's like a goddess. The movie, for some reason, is obsessed with love with her. Um, I make no, um, it, it's no secret in that, in, in showing in my demeanor that I just absolutely despise love again. Um, the definition of a slow, painful death is exact, is it, it's, it, it pretty much matches that. Um, it is a, as thin as a premise gets, it is milking it absolutely um, it is completely self-righteous, completely delusional, uh, pathetically directed, terrible performances. I mean, just absolutely just terrible performances and just riddled with cliches like uh, enormously and conveniences as well. And I did something that I never really did before. You know, I was getting just more and more irritated and I reached my peak with it. Like I just eventually just lost my patience with it. And um, I did something that I never did before. I just stopped watching it. You know, I gave it about 50 so minutes. So about half of its time. And eventually I just said, you know what? I, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I, I've given all I can for the film. Uh, and I checked out. So... It's a, it is a, it is a film that just, it, it, it's like, just like hands to a, like hands to a chalkboard or what they, you know, that, that, that sound, you know, it's like, it's just ear piercingly awful, um, you know, and it's not the kind of film like Strays where upon watching it, I was just infatuated by the 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 commitment to being a, a certain kind of awful this is just the kind of awful that like it just challenges you and i failed i i gave it about 50 minutes and i just i said you know what i'm out i'm out i i, I can't commit more time to this i have better things to do in life than watching this and better films to see than this so um absolutely terrible the premise makes no sense. It has a weird obsession with Celine Dion, and apparently Celine Dion is just, just unstoppable and just a you know just all knowing and stuff like that. Just you know, um, like, and it's so delusional in its idea, like of apparently a guy with the phone number of a dead boy, of a dead boyfriend or husband, is apparently love material or just some kind of husband material it's just 
Oh, man. Like, the more I talk about it, the more I just get... Like, the more I watched it, the more angry I was getting. And at that point, I just told myself, you know what? I want to be more calm. You know, I've been lately, I've just been trying to become more calm. And this was just pushing me to a place where I was just going to become angry. So I just thought, you know what? I don't need that today. I don't need to be angry. Um, you know, the only other thing I can say about it is that it makes, it's just such a stereotype of itself. Like apparently the men are either just completely stupid or just big honks. Like literally Nick Jonas, who's in the film, pulls out his muscles and then looks at him, it looks at them at one point. Like it's, that's the kind of, you know, it, it, it's like a rejected Hallmark, you know, type of special, you know, it's like Hallmark looked at that and said, I'm sorry, we cannot release that. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's terrible. And I think that I've wasted enough of my time. So, um, it's, it is a first for me. I have never have stopped watching a movie. So, you know, Love Again definitely is a, is a achievement in that I just stopped caring and just stopped and just, just, just stopped viewing it. So, you know, Love Again, congrats. You did something that no other film has ever done, you know, before. You made me stop watching your movie. So, uh, so yeah, uh, absolutely terrible. Um, you guys let me know if you guys finished the film. Uh, I've seen trailers for it and I was just, you know, I was infatuated by how awful it looked. So I just decided to give it a chance. And well, that's all I really did. I gave it a chance. So, um, so yeah, so that's it for my thoughts on the film. You guys let me know your thoughts. Uh, literally, I, I seriously, I just feel like I'm just like finally de- like decompressing because like my anger was just building and now just like, now that we're right at the end, I'm like, like, you know, I'm like, like, I'm finally just like, like resting now. Um, like the movie literally starts with someone watching the opening scene. You know, the opening is literally someone watching the opening sequence. That's like if that was not an illustration of just how corny and how bad things were gonna be, then introduce your then you get introduced to Celine Dion, then you get introduced to the premise, then you get introduced to the acting, the directing. I I dare you to try to finish the movie. I I dare you to try to finish it. So, so you guys let me know if you guys have finished it and let me know uh what happens at the end let me know was there no love at all or was there love again let me know in the comment section below and that's gonna be it for me guys thank you guys for tuning in and until then i will catch you guys in the next video bye